Hello and welcome to Sold on Auctions. Uh, I'm Betty O'Neill, I'm one of the instructors at Carolina Auction Academy and we've got some folks here today to talk with you a little bit about some of the different things going on in the auction world since they graduated from school at Carolina Auction Academy. Got Laura and Stephen with us today. So uh, Laura, you started out with a business helping hands the state sales. You were doing estate sales. What made you want to go to auction school? Um, well, actually, I, I drove through town and I saw the sign out. And I thought, how hard can that class be? <laughs> Maybe I could learn some things in it that might, I could apply to doing tag sales. Mm -hmm. I just like to learn and I love the culture growing up, going to auction since I was a kid in Amish country. And so I decided to take the class, had no idea <laughs> how hard it really was going to be and all that was involved. So, And there is a possibility that tag sales, depending on how you run them, mm -hmm. could qualify for someone needing an auctioneer's mm -hmm. license. Absolutely. Um, I've had a few occasions where I've been able to offer auctions in lieu of a tag sale because it met the customer's needs better. Mm -hmm. So that's what, you know, your focus is always what is going to make them the most money, be the, the best way for them. And it, now, now that I'm licensed, it can be either an auction or a tag sale. Um, a really cool thing I had never thought of was if, if customers at a tag sale get into an argument over an <laughs> item, which has happened, then I, since I'm licensed, I can go ahead and throw open um, the floor f for them to bid against each other and we've settled some arguments that way. Oh, so. on the job training. On the right? job training, yep. Yeah. And, and that's a good point too because when tag sales are operated where at the end they let people bid against each other, mm -hmm. they're getting really close to conducting an auction. Mm -hmm. That's right. And might actually need an auction that's license. That's right, so. yeah. And then you went on further and took the appraisal class. Mm -hmm. I did. Um, lots of valuable information in that um, if I could take it again I would just because I feel like there was so much to learn I would just like to go in and be a sponge again yeah. um, but I think that benefits us as auctioneers and doing tag sales or buyouts or whatever we're doing for a client because now we have knowledge that a lot of other people don't have mm -hmm. that are in the industry we can kind of throw that out that we're certified. Um, we've got some experience now. Of course, mm -hmm. we're learning every day, mm -hmm. but I think it shows a level that we care to have gone the extra step mm -hmm. to get that certification mm -hmm. to do the best for our clients. Right. And one of the things we've mentioned with some other folks that have been in is how the students come together after, after class mm -hmm. and maybe even two or three classes later, the networking and mm -hmm. helping because product knowledge is key, but you can't know everything about everything right. from day one. Right. So, um, I know you've helped out in the support staff role too, haven't you, in the cataloging? And mm -hmm. I have. I have. Um, there's so many different areas in the auction world that you can find the perfect fit mm -hmm. um, and so all of it's fun and exciting and there's usually a need somewhere. It's, somewhere. it's nice that we got the training to yeah. be able to step in. <laughs> That's certainly good. And Stephen, you're, you're new. Yes. <laughs> yes. And overworked already, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes. That's a good thing. Now, if I understand it correctly, your wife already had a business, a yes. furniture store business. She did. She had a resale shop, vintage resale shop, and it kind of transitioned into looking for other alternatives because we were finding uh, lots of items doing cleanouts, um, which I was doing uh, also, that didn't fit the niche of her shop, mm -hmm. um, but lots of good items that were actually being thrown away. Oh. And so we felt like we could be a service to the client and uh, have an opportunity for ourselves. So that's why I started looking into mm. auction school. Yeah. Yeah. And it's paid off, right? It's paid off. <laughs> have you convinced your <laughs> wife to come to school yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but she, she thinks she has to talk fast, which everyone does. Everyone thinks that, <laughs> don't they? Right. Right. Yeah. Yep. 
and that is a fallacy. Yep. Yes, so ma'am. You can can learn with that. Um, you were both right now. You're doing outside auctions as well as gallery type walking auctions. Yes, ma'am. Explain to our group what a walking auction is. Walking auction is um, when you come into the auction house, you basically have all the items set up um, on tables or displayed in rows, mm -hmm. and you just follow the auctioneer. Yeah. And people pick up what they like, uh, what they're interested in, and you, you sell it. Mm -hmm. You sell it. That's, <laughs> that's, right. that's the key. You sell it. Yes, Absolutely. Uh, I know the night that we got to your auction, I believe it was the first one you'd had inside. And yes, ma'am. We're amazed at how many of your fellow classmates were there to support you, but also yeah. to uh, cheer you on and to help out. Laura and I both have um, had some opportunities to help each other out. Um, she's mm -hmm. had clients that she sent my way and she's been there to support me on some auctions so it's been a good relationship. Mm -hmm. well, I know both of you are fairly new to it but can you think of a strange thing that you've been asked to either auction or tag? <laughs> mm, I might have to let you go first on that one. Um, <laughs> there's always something odd in awesome. every sale. Yeah. Um, nothing really stands out well I I I, <laughs> I have um, no, I can't say that <laughs> I, I, I didn't sell that I, I told them we weren't allowed to do that oh, okay. so we had we had the naughty um, dress form uh, I'll leave it at that okay at the last auction. <laughs> and that's a good point you kept because there are things you cannot sell mm -hmm. and yes, you have to have that knowledge as well you know what you can and cannot sell, mm -hmm. whether it's wildlife or certain types of guns or uh, what we call in class the red flags, yes. <laughs> you know, the things to watch out for. Uh, if you were uh, not in the auction business already and consider it, what advice would you give to someone who might be thinking about learning more about the auction business or whether it's support staff or uh, auctioneer, any of the above? What should they consider? You make me go first. Yeah, uh, ladies first. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, there's a couple of things. I'll make a quick one is the doors that will open to you by taking your class and learning and getting licensed are just unimaginable. You think you know the business because you go to auctions all the time, <laughs> but you really don't know until you go to class and you learn all the different avenues that you can pursue if, if you want. And then the the next big thing I think is the the camaraderie that we have between us. Um, I've never seen anything like it, yeah. and we all want each other to do to do well. Well, yeah. we lean on each other for advice. We try to throw business each other, e mm -hmm. you know, to each other or work together on projects, and that is one of the greatest things from class that I had never even thought, mm -hmm. you know, was a possibility. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. and. I want to add something here is that before Stephen goes, um, a lot of the auction schools out west and all, they go nine straight days, mm -hmm. 10 hours a day, nine days, and you're done. And it doesn't, in our opinion, give you time to understand the business part of it, to learn something and then reflect on it. But with that said, it that longer length of time together allows you to build that bond mm -hmm. and understand people's yeah. skill sets so that they can uh, know who to call on mm -hmm. to get help. Yeah. Okay, right. Stephen, what can you I add just, to what she said? I just think relationships have been amazing. Um, you, you know, you come in, you're taking a class and you have your own motive, motives for that, but you meet so many awesome people. And I've not met one person in the auction business up to this point who's not been helpful or encouraging. And so that for me has been a huge bonus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be able to pick up the phone and say, okay. please help me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, Laura, you were just at the convention, the state convention this mm -hmm. past weekend and mm -hmm. got to talk with people that you probably wouldn't have thought about That's before. That's right. Yeah. I always learn something new every time I go to the convention yeah. or meet a legend in the auction <laughs> industry of North Carolina. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, we do have another class coming up August 19th. Um, it meets on Monday and Thursday evenings, and there are some opportunities during that time frame to do interactive video. 
I know some people drive long distances. Stephen, you being one, yes. it took you, what, two hours to get to class a every night? A little less than that, but you know, yeah. pushing that. Yeah, so that makes for a long day after you've worked all day, but um, we do offer that, that piece, but what we found is most people don't take advantage of it because of what you said. They mm -hmm. want to be in class with their classmates. Mm -hmm. So, any final words of wisdom? <laughs> Go sign up for Carolina Auction <laughs> Academy. Don't hesitate. Yeah. The amount, the education you get for the price you pay is, is not even fathomable. Mm -hmm. It is, the education is priceless that, yes. you, that you guys provide us, so. Yeah, we're proud. We have eight instructors who are all certified licensed auctioneers in at least one state, some of them three and four, and uh, then experts in other fields. So uh, we're, we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we're seeing is that um, sometimes people come to auction school just to become a better consumer, mm -hmm. to oh, understand yeah. they are avid auction goers and they want to learn more about the business. Mm -hmm. awesome. Interesting, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you both for coming in and for being good alumni of Carolina <laughs> Auction Academy, and good luck. Keep thank us you. posted thank on you your start. next auctions, because we'll be there. Saturday. Saturday, <laughs> okay. Very good, thank you.